everybody what's going on I uh, just I made a video about <clears throat> I suppose about a year ago maybe more maybe less about the low testosterone epidemic in the world uh, and believe it or not mainly probably in the United States because of our environment our life our lifestyle and, and the things that we do the things that we eat and the, uh, the, the factors that we are that surround us every day now low testosterone um, is, is this is a real thing guys um, 30 years ago the average male had a 30 percent higher testosterone level than today's average male so if you think about that that's pretty dramatic that's pretty insane actually 30 years from now we're going to have 60% lower testosterone levels walking around every day if we don't do something about it then the men uh, from 60 years uh, back from that point so that's pretty pretty crazy because only about five to ten percent of men seek treatment for low testosterone symptoms um, low testosterone is a risk factor for, for tons of health conditions obesity, diabetes, heart disease. Now what does testosterone do for man? It's not rocket science. We all know what it does. It improves your brain function, improves sleep, and, and obviously libido, uh, libido and, and sexual function uh, keeps fat down. You know, this is like when you're young, you can eat anything you want. You can do anything you want. That's because your T levels are, are higher. Uh, that's a main uh, factor in that. And of course, it helps to maintain lean muscle mass and, and obviously burn fat. Uh, what are some of the symptoms of low testosterone? Well, you know, as you get a little older, we all experience a lot of these things. You get a little brain fog, fatigue, mood swings. Uh, you, you start to gain fat uh, around the abdominal region in particular. Uh, anxiety, irritability, depression, stamina, uh, decreased and of course decreased uh, sexual function and, and the list goes on and on uh, but testosterone um, really believe it or not uh, we actually do need a little bit of estrogen as well uh, the trouble is that uh, estrogen is becoming more and more prevalent uh, in the male body now the average male 60 year old male today will have more circulating estrogen in his blood than the average 60 year old woman now think about that that's pretty crazy uh, to, to think about I mean it, it really is uh, we're walking around with more estrogen at 60 than a 60 year old woman right next to us and uh, what, what's going on is, is you know for men and women are, are hormone uh, disruptors in the environment uh, this, this is not in our biology I mean our biology didn't tell us 30 years ago that you have 30% less testosterone levels something happened um, and that is the hormone disruptors that are in our environment um, these mimic estrogen uh, in our bodies now hormone disruptors are blamed for total testosterone levels dropping 22% between 87 and 2004 22% and if you think about that, that's when, you know, in the 80s, uh, the plastics weren't as dominant as they are. One of the main things, the main aspects is definitely plastics. It's definitely a huge variety of chemicals and, and the, and an increase uh, in, in products that we put on ourselves, we, we, we bathe in, uh, we ingest, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, it was pretty basic. You know back back in the day back in the 80s and then things started to take off with the with the introduction of plastics and, and, and soy into our diets and, and things just really started to go downhill from there um, estrogen hormones um, are found in our food our meat and our dairy they've been treated with hormones it's, it's always good to just eat grass-fed beef chicken um, eat eggs that were from grass-fed uh, hens etc etc to avoid um, these hormone disruptors now this is this is real I mean uh, this is these these things are real and, and you have to wonder about some of the conditions you know with with um, 
autism, etc., really taken off in the last 20 to 30 years. Uh, if, if a lot of this isn't, uh, some of this isn't the cause of that as well. Now, I'm not saying that it's a touchy subject, uh, but but something's going on, uh, guys and gals. Something's going on, and and it's really changing us as human beings, uh, men and women. Now, what is testosterone? Uh, you know. It's converted to estrogen, and that causes belly fat. It causes man boobs. It causes depression. It causes all, all kinds of different, uh, different negative aspects uh, in men and women. And and these inhibitors, are, the aromatase enzymes, excuse me, are found in the fat tissue. So the fatter you get, the more uh, estrogen you produce. And of course, um, I just amplifies everything and a lot of health issues nowadays high blood pressure uh, etc diabetes are, are you know only fed by this high estrogen uh, that, that, that men are walking around with now um, men who had low T levels uh, and when their testosterone levels uh, the low T levels are that's below 300 on the scale uh, 300 nanograms per decibel liters, I believe it is. Now when their levels were brought up to 500 uh, to 1,000, um, they had a 40% decrease in death, they had an 18% reduction in heart attacks, and a 30% reduction in uh, in strokes. Now if you if you follow the media, you know the media is all about oh, steroids, testosterone, all this, all this other stuff, and there's a lot of truth to that. Uh, people are using derivatives of testosterone, but testosterone in and of itself generally if used in a controlled environment uh, to maintain healthy levels, normal levels, uh, is actually quite beneficial. Um, overweight men, about 50 out of 100, 50% had low testosterone. Men with high blood pressure, 40 out of 100 had low testosterone. High cholesterol, 40 out of 100 had low testosterone. And men with diabetes, 50% uh, had low testosterone. So there's certainly something there um, that, that needs to be studied more. Uh, now, how do you boost testosterone and suppress estrogen as, as a man? Now remember, at 60, if, you, if you're going the way you're going now, you're going to have higher estrogen than a 60-year-old woman. Uh, so, so that's pretty scary stuff. Um, you want to get your zinc, guys. Um, zinc is an, is an amazing supplement or amazing uh, mineral. It does a lot of different things for us now. Um, we don't get the zinc in our diets like we used to. I mean, we, we just don't. Everything's refined. Uh, you know, most people nowadays are, are relying on supplemental zinc. Some of that is not very well absorbed. There are certain forms. Um, ZMA, for example, um, is a wonderful supplement. Um, it's quite common now. Uh, it's available about any health food store. Uh, vitamin D, but you want to make sure you're getting vitamin K, uh, K2 with that as well. Um, Otherwise, they, they, they don't, uh, vitamin D doesn't work quite as well. And uh, you want to lower your blood sugar, obviously. I mean, lowering your, sugar, your blood sugar is so beneficial in so many ways. Eat plenty of healthy fats, uh, nuts, avocados, seafood, um, branch chain amino acids. Um, probably want to supplement with those, but they are found, of course, in, in most uh, high quality protein sources. Take care of your, your adrenals um, as well. Uh, get, a, get a good multivitamin, multimineral. I'm of the belief that we're actually uh, deficient in minerals more so than vitamins. So make sure you're getting plenty of minerals, omega-3s. Uh, omega-3s really, you know, over the last couple decades have really gained steam um, in and of because of the fact that they are Incredibly beneficial for us. Um, progesterone, believe it or not, which is generally thought of as a female supplement. There's creams that you rub on. Um, five to ten milligrams of that a day can actually help with your testosterone. L-arginine, which increases nitric oxide. Uh, beetroot powder, which which I use, is pretty crazy, crazy wonderful stuff. And then they're talking, you know, there's tons of different supplements to raise testosterone, whether or not they do. Uh, you know, it's hard to say. Um, you won't know unless you get a, a blood test. But, And then, of course, you know, get get checked 
get checked for low testosterone, guys. I mean, most insurance uh, will cover the treatment um, if you're low. And I'm telling you guys that, you know, in, in 30 to 50 years, we're going to be walking around uh, as a society, and, and the men and women are going to be just on the same level in terms of hormone levels. Uh, that's where we're going. Uh, can you imagine in 200 years if we don't do something about this? Um, we're going to be asexual, and, and that's pretty, pretty scary stuff. Um, again, just just in particular for the the survival of of the the species, for the for survival of, of men in general, um, and for what we really are. So, just take care of yourselves, guys. Go get those T levels checked. All right, guys. Don't forget to get your gear. ConcealedCrew.com. Also, check out Golden Biohack if you are out in the Denver area. Improve your body, improve your mind like you would not believe.